Hello guys, so I decided for this year's year roundup video, we're going to do it slightly different from the past two years because, wow, time did travel by really fast and it's already the next decade, it's already 2020. Time flies by really quickly, doesn't it? Since after uh, this video, I have not been uploading for the past weeks because um, I was going to work during the holiday season, but I emotionally and mentally was very exhausted and I needed some time off, so I took some time off. And now I'm back, and don't worry, in the next year, I have pre-recorded a lot of videos during the, the break with everyone else, including a expensive video that some of you took part in and you know which one I'm talking about. That one. All that's coming within the next few weeks, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to it. But for for now, we're gonna we're gonna have to end 2019 properly, because first and foremost, my channel survived. It survived the the, the purge of monetization that YouTube was going to delete it. A few weeks ago, actually almost a month ago, I made a video saying, like saying my last farewells to the channel, because I was really scared that the channel was gonna go. YouTube, I think, I, I guess I guess I might have misinterpreted it wrong as well as a lot of other people. Because it turns out, well, YouTube won't go after your channel if you don't make money. Unless you violate the YouTube laws, obviously, then they will have the right to terminate your channel. But I'm a good boy. With that aside, let's begin this year round of video. 2019, what a fast year it has been. It did feel like forever. However, within this very long year, we did many things. On the channel, we kicked off with me making Rice Krispies, and uh, that may have gotten some parodies and uh, some people making memes out of it, but I can't find those videos anymore because they've been taken down for some reason. Hey, I didn't sue them. I'm just saying, I didn't sue them. All right, people, we are back with some more cooking, and this time we have a special guest today featuring our cameraman, Matt123. Uh. Have a nightmare cleaning it up. So, what we're gonna do is just we're gonna set this in the fridge. We're gonna let the fridge do the work. All right, what we're gonna do now is he's using this back up. I'm gonna use the potato masher. We're just gonna pound them. We have some good quality milk chocolate. And then we did a lot, a lot of Fortnite back then. Because that back then Fortnite was at season 7, which is the beginning of its downfall. We went to check over to Zoo 45, which didn't update a lot but back then. But now, Minecraft has reached crossplay and it has caught up with PCs new content and we have 1.15 and foxes and bees and everything. So Expect Zoo 45 to probably get an upgrade uh, as well before the new exhibits. And then, in terms of Fortnite, we had the Marshmallow concert. I never thought I'd see the day I'd see my boy Marshmallow make it onto the Fortnite stage. But guess what? It is happening. Alright, press the park when it's dropped. Let me see everybody jumping on the team. Jumping, let's go! Guys, start yeah. jumping. Start jumping. Jump here, jump here, jump here. Oh, an automatically jump. <laughs> Yo, this is so lit. Yo, I just light up. That was an absolute blast. Um, I actually thought I was going to miss that event that day, but thank God they had an encore show in the evening, so. Got to experience that and that is definitely a highlight from this game that I'll never forget. And then that's when I decided, you know what, we gotta really put some serious seriousness in this channel. And we hit the two year anniversary of Mark 25 Studios. And guess what we did there? We did a giveaway. This video is brought to you by Wakefield Productions. Thank you Wakefields for sponsoring this video, as well as the cash to give away. Alright. Boys, it is time to announce the official winners of Mark 45 Studios' second giveaway. And the 45th person 
on the randomized list will receive these $200. Oh my god! You do not believe who just won the $200. He's nearly... What the heck? Well, today is your big day, man. If you know who I'm talking about, I'm just gonna play a very short clip of this man. This man made a very, very popular song. Wow! I don't even remember what I gave away that time, but a lot of people were... It obviously caught a lot of people's attention. And so that was... That, that, that went super successfully. And then we made a discount Mr. Potato Head advertisement. Don't ask why. We just did it. It was just random. Are your kids sick and tired of their potatoes crumbling in their hands? Yes! Do they want their potatoes to last forever? Ooh! Do they want to play with their food? Introducing Mr. Potato Head, the first food that is a toy. What? You can customize him, start a family, and even take him to battle. Banania! Banania! With Mr. Potato Head, you can take potato time to a whole new level. So don't be a potato and get yours today. And be sure to use code MARK45 for 20% off your next Mr. Potato Head purchase. Mr. Potato Head, the absolute way to play with your food. Available in stores near you. But see some background not included. Ensure your plugs is right for you. Batteries not included. Consult your doctor before you may, may include carbohydrates. See and solve the details. And then, I got my first solo win. Because normally, I don't get solo wins. I get carried. Well, not this in this video, in this case, I worked hard for that solo win, because I had to split into two videos. First video, failed. I finally got it in the second video. Oh my god, the 1v1. Then for the very first time, Death Runs became a new meta for Fortnite. And what better to do than to try Scissors Death Run? <laughs> Let's just say that didn't go too well. Oh! I'm getting, I'm getting eye in my mouth. Come on! I'm getting cancer from Ryan's, like, rage. <laughs> no! Oh! Far out. Baby, a god, bees jump. Come on, come on. Get him some of the stick of the house. Get him some 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 of the house. Jump. And then, Avengers Endgame came out. And man, that was a that was a peak moment in 2019. Which then, the Avengers Endgame game mode was added to Fortnite, and I got to play as Thanos again, and slaughter so many noobs. Oh! 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 Baby, I'm Thanos! Let's go! Alright. Thanos 45 has arrived! Can I? Please aim to Funny, die. Yeah. <laughs> die, you peasant! <laughs> 2019 was also the year we launched our music channel, Big City Dreams Music. Originally, it was called Viable Music, but however, there were some conflicts and disagreements with the name, so therefore, we changed it to. What's now known as Big City Dreams. We we put out our first cover song, which is uh, which is Listen Before I Go by Billie Eilish. And then after we pushed out Good Things Fall Apart, which has reached 30,000 views by the way. And then 
we get to the peak moment. Another peak moment. Yes, there's so many peak moments. We announce the darkest hour of Fortnite film. Our final, final film to conclude the series. Because in 2018, we introduced the beginning, and then later on, Midgard. And we were going to wrap it up in 2019 with the darkest hour. Then I started to think, well, Minecraft is making a comeback. It is the new meta again. And it's slowly overtaking Fortnite. So what better does it get back to what this channel first started on? Minecraft. And then we had another, another epic Fortnite live event, which is the Discount Pacific Rim Battle. That, still by far, I still hold this title, it is still the best event that has to ever happen in Fortnite. The best live event ever, and I'm so glad I got to witness it. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Behind you, behind you! Oh, oh shit, that looks like it hurt, man. Oh, he's getting the sword. Oh dear. He's getting the sword. He's getting the sword. I told you. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, yeah. Get him. Yo, I love this new Pacific Rim movie. Get him. Oh. Oh. Yo, then Zone Wars became a thing. What was Zone Wars? If you don't play Fortnite, you're probably asking, what the hell is Zone Wars? Well, it is basically storms moving in, everyone's a sweaty bitch, and you gotta just duke it out and be the last one standing. It's just competitive battle royale. We had a lot of people playing in the summer, so what better did we got? We got an army of people to shoot this video. And it was, man, it was chaotic, but it was fun. Oh, that was close, that was close. Gotcha. Oh my goodness. Easy. Gotcha. Oh, yep. Get oh, out my oh, god, god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Dude, that's so easy. If I can, it's only if I can hit the. There we go. <laughs> Why would you jump? It's <laughs> oh, oh, there. Oh, get out of my game, Wyatt! Get out of my game! And then after we launch the darkest hour of Fortnite film, which was. 2 hours and 7 minutes and that was to wrap up the series. On Big City Dreams Music, we dropped our new song with the one and only Little SBC, Old Friends. I used to know what you do, used to be, be with who, you're my old friend, why did it all end? Beyond these walls, I should have called, you must have picked up, I swear you did, was I so blind? Yes I was. Out of the mouth, the dungeons of rap I never sleep, sipping on the drink Got money in the bank, God I think Running with the gang, you think that's cool I'll tell you what's cool, Lil SBC has returned yeah, 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 where is my Five thousand views, by the way. So it was an absolute pleasure to work with Imanu, and it's been. I I thought this wouldn't happen because this is one of the things I, one of the first things I said when we first formed Big City Dreams was we need a song with Imanu, because before he did his own song of a Master Snitch, and I said, well, since we should, he should really make a new song, and since we're out of ideas. We should really collab. And that's exactly what happened. Took a lot of work from first sending him that DM saying, yo, you want to collab? And he said, yo, that's so fire, bro. Oh God, I'm cringing. <clears throat> to finally pushing out the music video, which was filmed by Saucy Hamster. Shout out to him. And then we began to launch our new series of my Minecraft city. Now the Minecraft city is my biggest life achievement because I've been keeping this for more 
been five, almost five years now, including when I first created the world. So if you don't count when I first created a world and it was still a zoo, it would be three years. But before that, it was the first world I ever did and it will always be the best world and it's our biggest life accomplished project and it's still going right now. It will never stop. It was, it's gonna finish one day. But then this year is when we finally launch videos of it. When it's near its peak, when there's things to be shown finally. Another video I want to point out is playing on XX Food Boy's account and completely raging, trying to get him that victory umbrella. Your building controls? What is this? It's not even Builder Pro. I'm sorry, but you're Y'all there? Button. Shut up, kid. I thought you were muting your mic. Nick, mana. Y'all there? Are you done complaining, kid? Oh my. Did you guys just see that? The, 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 the freaking golden brute just teleported in front of me. He went f oh, oh crap. Oh crap. Alright. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. He's so close. Come on, people. <laughs> Then, Jedi Fallen Order was released as a brand new game, and I started a Let's Play series. And yes, more will come. Then, we released a quick, well not really quick, but a small Fortnite short film project called the Ultra Music Festival. Everybody's freaking jump! Which is just basically a big, big city dreams performance where they we just showed some of our songs and quote unquote performed it. Then to end the year, we saw the Chainsmokers who finally came to Vancouver. And let me tell you, it was the best evening of my life. So, 2019 was a great year, it was a fast year, it was jam packed with a lot of things. I do hope that whatever we did from the past 3 years now, almost 3, has been kept treasured as a memory 
and I look forward to see what we're gonna have for the next decade in 2020 and what we got for everyone else. I have a lot of videos come planned and they're coming, so be sure to look forward to that. In the meantime, Happy New Year's guys. 